Hello, my name is Trisha Mack. I am the Moscow Technical Liaison Office Manager in Moscow, Russia. Something really special happened just a couple weeks ago. I was in my apartment and my Russian cell phone rang and it was a number I didn't recognize. And I was getting ready to be able to say in, in uh, broken Russian, you have the wrong phone number. And instead, it was a little crackly and I hear Trisha. And just the adrenaline started flowing through me. And I said, is this Reed? And it was my friend on orbit, on the space station, calling me from space and I just started yelling and I didn't care who was gonna hear and I just started screaming, I cannot believe you're calling me from the space station. It was one of those moments that even after all of these years um, and after everything I've seen and done, it just struck me to the cord. Well, a lot of people ask when they meet me, especially in Moscow, how did you work for NASA? What um, even gave you that idea? And I have to say it was eighth grade or science class. Every week would be a different topic. And I remember coming home from school and after oceans, I said, mom and dad, I'm gonna be an oceanographer. And I remember writing away to Woods Hole and they sent me information. Then the next week it was volcanoes and I forgot all about oceans. Well, by the time we got to the space week, it was just something, it was just this natural calling and I could not think of anything that would be more interesting than studying space. I will say that that really was the turning point that got me into wanting to go to work for NASA. I think sometimes the things in my life that not I think, I know what I have enjoyed the most are the things that have been challenges. If it comes easy, it doesn't interest me. So early on, math was slightly challenging, science was slightly challenging, and the further I progressed, the harder it got. But I loved that challenge and I really thrived on it. I had supportive parents, I had supportive teachers, but there are some days that you still just have to find that inner fire within you to, to keep going and block out the people who say it can't be done or you're not smart enough and just tune them out. They're not the ones with the drive and if you have the dream, you need to believe in yourself. We're all the same and we all have something to contribute and it shouldn't make a difference if you are male or female.